This video was sponsored by Flow Toys. The 3-Beat Weave, a poi classic, and you can do it with a partner. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, helping you bring the joy of flow to your world, and I'm here with my friend Tashi to teach you how to take the 3-Beat Weave into partner poi territory. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all of these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links down in the description of this video. The Partner 3-Beat Weave is a step up from the 4-Beat. You'll be using both hands at the same time, and there are a lot of tricks that are possible once you know it. For a review, let's check in on communication. When we start a trick, we're going to count in by saying here, next, now. Sound good? Awesome. Sounds great. Most of us already know a lot about the three beat weaves, but if you don't know this trick, we'll have a link for a lesson in the description below. When you do it with a partner, each one of you does half of the weave, so you're like two parts of the same body. This trick is also an instant crowd pleaser. It looks so complex that most people watching it don't realize it's one of the most common poi tricks out there. Let's dive in and see if we can sort it out. This is going to be a four step process. Step one, stand across from your partner with your poi in opposite hands and just perform a three beat weave. I will start over and Drex will start under. Okay. Here, next, now. Perfect. Think over under, back, over, under, back. Just like a normal weave. Get the feel for the rhythm of the move and what it's like doing this with another person. Next, try doing a reverse weave with the other set of hands. Same idea, and I'm gonna start under once again. So, here, next, now. Outstanding. That seemed weird, why forward on one side and reverse on the other? You'll find out soon. Now for step two, I want you and your partner to stand across from each other. Have one partner spinning reverse and the other partner spinning forward. You're going to approach your partner and stall around each other's shoulders. The person spinning forward will stall over their partner's shoulders. And the person spinning reverse will stall under their partner's armpits. So standing across from Tashi, I'm gonna call here, next, now, and we come out of our stalls with our poi having switched directions. I'm now spinning forward and Tashi is now spinning reverse. Now I'm going to stall under Drex's armpits. And I'm going to stall over Tashi's shoulders. Here, next, now, and switch the direction of your poi once again. Go back and forth like this with your partner. Here, next, now stall. Here, next, now stall. Make sure you change direction every time you stall, or you might tangle your poi. Okay, now let's move on to step three. Imagine that there are two giant V's on the floor pointed at each other. You and your partner are going to walk back and forth on top of them. You'll start at opposite ends and step toward each other into the middle, then step out to opposite ends of those V's. Both of you then step back into the middle and then arrive back where you started. Think in and out, in and out. This exercise and the last one both involve us stepping towards and away from each other. That is not a coincidence. It's how we're gonna pull this whole thing together. So let's do the V-step with our poi. I'm going to signal to Tashi, here, next, now. We stall and we step back out to opposite ends of the V. Here, next, now. We stall and we're back to our original spots. Drill going back and forth like this until you and your partner can perform the switch 10 times in a row without losing your timing or hitting each other. Those are all the pieces that we need to do a partner three beat. Now, let's start taking away the beats. This time, we'll count down next, now, next, now. That work, Drex? Yeah, absolutely, can do. Awesome. We count off next, now, next, now, back and forth, back and forth until we can do it 10 times in a row. Now let's get down to just switching back and forth instantly. This is also gonna mean that we won't want to step away completely from each other anymore. Now when we approach each other, I'm gonna start off counting here, next, now, and then over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. 
You might wind up stalling back and forth like we did in the second exercise, but we want something a little different this time. Rather than just standing there and stalling around each other's shoulders, we want you pivoting your upper bodies back and forth like you're still walking through the Vs. This is going to change the stalls you do around each other into the beats of a three beat weave. You want to be pivoting left and right, back and forth. I know it doesn't feel like it, but at this stage, you're actually performing three beat weaves on both sides of your body. If we zoom in on each hand, you can see that individually, they're each doing weaves. Pretty strange how something that didn't seem at all like a weave at first can turn into one, isn't it? And that is why we had you start off with a forward weave in one hand and a reverse in the other. It was to get you ready for this last step. Make sure that you and your partner try out going both ways. If you started off with your poise spinning in reverse, then switch to forward and learn it that way. There's also a way to perform this weave such that each hand is performing a forward three beat weave, but it requires a slightly different approach to the steps that we just went through. We're going to do the stalling exercise again, but this time you and your partner are both going to be spinning in split time opposites. This means that one hand will be stalling over your partner's shoulder and the other hand will be stalling under. So let's give it a shot. Here, next, now. Remember to change which direction your poi are spinning each time you stall. Double check each time that your poi are still spinning in opposite directions and your partner's poi are still spinning in the same direction. Now let's take this back to our V steps. Just like before, I want you to count off here, next, now, and switch ends. Here, next, now, and switch ends. Drill this until you can do 10 of them in a row. Now we get rid of the extra beats thinking next, now, next, now. Practice until you can do 10 in a row. Now let's go straight back and forth. Tashi and I will come in on here, next, now, and stall right away as we pivot left and right. Note that your hands will always be in opposite positions as you perform this weave. If your right hand is on top, then your left will be on bottom and vice versa. Don't forget to pivot. These will turn those stalls into beats of a weave. This might actually be the most important move we cover in the entire series. Drill it a lot. You'll need it for everything that comes later on, and it's a super important foundational move. We'll go ahead and show it to you from a few other angles here. And for those of you out there who are keeping track, you'll note that we perform these weaves with our poi in together same and split time opposites, but not the other timing and direction combinations. These timings are ideal for switching in and out of other tricks, but we'd invite you to try out the weave in split same and together opposites too. Fair warning, both timings can put a lot of strain on your shoulders. Take these slowly, but feel free to explore them as enrichment learning. It can take some pretty long hours of practice to get down your partner poi, and that's one of the reasons that we've been using these pod poi from this series sponsor, Flow Toys, to work on all of ours. Because they light up, you can practice just as easily after dark, getting in way more hours of practice. Go ahead and grab a set of these for you and your partner by using the code PARTNERFLOW at flowtoys.com to get a discount on two pairs. Thanks again to Flow Toys for helping to make this series possible. Performance face. Mm. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Serious business here. We want to see your partner poi. Post yourself doing this trick on Instagram with the hashtag DraxFactorPoi so we can check out your hard work. Next week we'll cover flips and foldouts. To make sure you see when that tutorial drops, please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos in this series. Before I set you all loose, I also just want to put out a massive thank you to all of my wonderful supporters on Patreon. They are the reason that this video and all the videos on this channel exist. If you would like to support the work that I do, please head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You get early access to all of my content, plus a vote in what topics I tackle in the future. Thank you so much in advance.